Okay, we'll pick up from mostly from where we left off. You should know that um, what I did was I gathered a little bit of resources and continued what I did with the refiner, putting dihydrogen jelly and cooking it, getting dihydrogen, making dihydrogen jelly, and going back and forth to make more and more. I reorganized so that the sodium that goes into the hazard protections next to it, the oxygen that goes into the life support is next to that. I'll put this down here. Now, if you hit escape, uh, if you're on this, you can go to your log and select your secondary missions. Um, because you'll need a terrain manipulator in order to get copper, in order to get chromatic metal, in order to build a base. So um, to make a, so I selected, selected terrain manipulation in here. And now we're going to, I went to multi-tool and I clicked E to install to put this here. Now we need dihydrogen jelly and two carbon nanotubes. So as you can see, I left one of the dihydrogen jellies. Now using E, I put a second carbon nanotube there. Go to multi-tool and click for the dihydrogen jelly and the two carbon nanotubes and we now have a terrain manipulator. Now if we hit escape, click on awakenings, I uh, know, um, click on terrain manipulation the next goal is to gather 60 copper. So uh, to establish the base, we mine copper, then refine the copper in, a, in the portable refiner to get chromatic metal. I believe it's 30 chromatic metal to make a base machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit, we're going to hit F, we're going to look for copper, and then, uh, then we're going to mark it then go back in the plane to restore our hazard protection, then go out of the plane and run to the copper. So we click F, there's copper 191, there's copper at 331. Let me scan that. So I gathered a few materials off off the the video thing. Okay, it looks like the 191 copper is the closest. So click E to highlight it while the visor you're clicking F for the visor. Then let's go inside and restore our hazard protection. As soon as our hazard protection is restored, we are going to run over and get the copper we need to establish the first base that's required by the game. Okay. There's our copper. Um, I use shift to speed me up a little bit. Now, the sentinels do not mind when you use the terrain manipulator, but they do mind when you use um, your laser. You should be able to see it because it's a big, bright... I bet you that's it there. Oh, no, that's it right here. All right, you hit G to go to the terrain. Uh, okay, we'll need to get rid of that.
So you're on terrain manipulator setting. We have more than enough copper ready, but actually... I'm going to take most of it. And you know what? Um, let's refill our hazard protection with some sodium. We use some just gathering a few resources on the way back. I hope you don't mind. Uh, unidentified. All right, back to the plane. We should get those, um, we need an Atlas pass for that. This marks. I'll show you where that is on the discovery section. Where's our plane? Interesting, I don't remember that portable refiner symbol. All right, I'll show you a few things. On the discoveries, you see that waypoint that I clicked. If you click F, you can upload it. If you right click and go back to here, you click F, you can upload all. And we get nanites, which is a form of, lets you buy certain things. And a lot of those units we got by scanning. Um, I had made launch fuel, so we'll need that. One launch fuel will fill up uh, empty thrusters. The pulse engines take tritium. We will have to shoot asteroids to get more tritium. Oh, also, I was going to say, when you click that thing to set point, that's where you get the navigation data from. You get one from each. Now, we'll need 30 copper. So I, I press E on the refiner. Click this. Click the copper. Click S to drop it down to 30. Oh, actually, my bad. It's actually, we need 60 copper to get 30 chromatic metal. So it's two to one. So we use W to get up to 60 and then begin. When that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to make a base computer and make a base. And that will satisfy, um, if you look, in the log, the objective here is establish a base, collect chromatic metal, use the terrain manipulator. We did that. Refine copper in a refiner to create chromatic metal. So that's what we're doing now. We're refining it to make chromatic metal. 
So we've made chromatic metal, two to one. Now if you look, it says habitation program initializing, establish and construct a base. I used escape and go to log. Find a suitable planet and deploy a base computer. Use the beacon to register your claim on the site and begin construction. Use the build menu to place new base components. Um, I'm near that hollow tower, and also I see there's a good amount of carbon and uh, fer ferrite here. I'm just going to put my first base right over here, if you don't mind. So, uh... Use the Z key, click base computer, and then place the base down. Go to E. Left click. Claim base. This lets us get a little bit of a view of the area, too. Let's rename this base. Accessing log from previous user entry follows. Storm sweeping across but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. Extract plans. All right, we got all these things. Let's go in here. And we'll name this first base. So we know where the first base is at. Now we got plans. Let's get carbon. We're going to build a very basic shelter. It takes a lot of carbon to build the stuff in the bay buildings. trying to use whatever carbon I have nearby. Notice when the laser is still hot, it will mine quicker for you. And back to the ship. So we grabbed quite a bit of carbon. It's in our cargo. So we have plenty. Um, let's refill the mining beam. Use the silicon powder to refill the terrain manipulator. Although later we will want that probably to make glass. Construct a shelter for protection against hazards. Build foundations from timber floor panels. Access the build menu with Z. Those are the directions here. So 
So this is relative. We need something relatively level to build a floor with. Let's build it right here. And we can build a wall. Put one right here. And hit Z, flat timber roof. There. Let's put another wall on here. This should be adequate. Let's see what happens with the storm. Meanwhile, anything we can scan here? Uh, that's unidentified. We can scan that. What is this hole here? Uh, So I neither made a wall, other walls, nor a door. I essentially used the minimum. You notice I'm not taking any damage from here. Although I don't understand why it says build a roof as I already built a roof. Let's see. Use the beacon to register your claim. We did that. Use the build menu to place new base components. Let's see what we have here. So the floor just takes 10 carbon. A wall takes 25. We made two walls. That was 50. So total of 60 carbon. The roof took 10 carbon and 10 ferrite dust. So that's what? About 70 carbon and 10 ferrite dust to do this. Oops. Whatever you refill is what the beam is set on. Since it keeps on telling me to build a roof, how about we extend this um, we'll extend it this way so let's put another floor now if I click Z and click C to edit base parts click on the wall right click I can move that wall And Z, I'll put another flat roof up. And let's stick a wall over here. All right. And the base computer we can use from here, since we set it up like this. 
accessing log from previous user, additional archives recovered. Entry follows. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby plans log. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Beginning search. Okay, extract plans. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Left click. All right. Our next thing is to construct a research unit with magnetized ferrite and carbon nano nanotubes. Okay. Um, expand your base by earning new construction blueprints. Dig up buried technology to earn new blueprints. Power your base to enable advanced technology. Use teleporters to instantly retur return to your base during your travels. Okay. So let's go into the ship. All right. Our next task is to construct a research unit with magnetized, um, with magnetized ferrite. In a, and we do that in a refiner with ferrite dust in a portable refiner. In fact, let's do this. If I hit Z and I click the leftmost one, you see the construction unit is there. It requires 20 magnetized ferrite and one carbon nanotube. We'll get magnetized ferrite by refining ferrite into pure ferrite and then refining pure ferrite, I believe, into magnetized ferrite. And I believe we will stop the video here. Thank you for watching.